All right, guys, this is the Condor double bit axe. I don't see that there's a different type of grind. I think it's both basically the same type of grind on each. Doesn't seem to be different. It does have a nice classic handle. It does have a um, handle hold here. This is dead wood, so I just knocked it down. I'm gonna try to get some cuts out of it and see how it works. Alright, that was one side. Now I'm gonna flip it around to the other side. All right guys, so if you're like me, you've probably been looking at this. This is Condor. Condor is made in El Salvador. Nice hickory handle. I forget what size this is, but if I had to guess, it's about a three foot, um, almost a three foot uh, handle on it, hickory. Dual bit. Um, I don't necessarily use dual bit axes often. Uh, I do like the hammer on one side, but it does have its purpose. I think the idea between it was one is to cut down the tree and the other side was to split the wood that you already cut down. Another way to look at it is you have two sharp edges so in case one gets dull you could just flip it around and use that and continue on your work. Especially when we didn't have chainsaws this was actually modern technology. Now Condor um, I don't see anything specific that that tells me what kind of grind it is. It just looks like basically the same grind. I will say that this axe head looks a little bit bigger. Uh, this bit right here looks a little bit longer than this one, but it just could be just the way they forged it. It feels very easy to swing, all right? It's not an overly heavy axe head, if you will. Um, probably can throw this now. I'm out here in the frozen tundra uh, in the Adirondack Mountains, so everything is frozen, all right? So it's really difficult to uh, cut down trees, that kind of thing right now, because it is cold out. Uh, I will say that I think it's a decent ax. I will say that I think it's a, a, it's a good ax. I don't know if it's spe specifically my style of ax, uh, because I do like to do a lot of building, and although this is a superior cutting edge, I don't think you could do a lot of building without, you have to, use the side of the ax to pound in pegs. And if you ever tried to do that, you know that it's not always conducive. All right, it does come with a lanyard. The lanyard is just to hold it in a tree. It's not supposed to wrap it around your hand in any way, shape or form. And I will say that the, the sheet, the leather sheet that Condor makes is really, really nice. Nice leather sheet, it does come with a swinging dangler so the way this works is you slip it in through the top doesn't matter which side it is 
and it has a very, very simple button snap. That's it. All right, guys, so I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a double bit ax that's not very expensive. I know these are not expensive. Um, I had this one for a long time and never really used it or tested it again because I, I don't use double bits. But I think if you're in the market, this would be great to something to have inside your trailer, ATV, something like that, maybe around the campsite. You know, maybe you don't need to bang in pegs or anything like that, but this would definitely do the job. It does work, so I'm a big fan of that. And uh, I do like the handle shape. It's a very simple handle shape. It does have a swell at the bottom. It does have a swell at the top and a very thin profile in the middle, so it really allows you to choke up and swing the sucker. All right, guys, so what I need you to do is to like, subscribe, share. If you like videos like this and more content, please become a Patreon member. Only costs you $1 a month. Check out all the links I have down below. And as always, be safe.